everyone, Miss Nancy here again. Boy, I miss you all. I can't wait till you can come back to the library and we can still have our classes. Well, and let's review our summer song. <clears throat> Remember it goes, Reuben, summer, summer is the season. Remember that too? Here we go. Summer, summer is the season when I love to play outside. Swimming, hiking, playing baseball, going for a long bike ride. When the winter's finally over and the summer's here to stay, everyone I know agrees there's nothing like a summer day. All right, I hope you sang along. You can play that over and over again until you learn it too. Well, we're gonna have one more summer story and it's called the summer laundry day you know what laundry is don't you laundry is when mommy or daddy or both do the wash like we all know when we're playing out in the summertime we do get dirty and sweaty so our clothes have to be put in the laundry and washed well this is the story of Summer Laundry Day for a mouse family. Yeah, a mouse family. For many days, it had been hot and still in the forest. The summer sun beat down on the wood mouse family as they went about their chores. Here's their house in this great big tree. And they're all working down here, but it's very hot. Hot. But Mama had welcome news. Gather your laundry, children, she called. It's washing day. So the whole family got to work. Laundries flew through the air and landed in strange places. Sheets on heads and shirts on ears. Do these things go too? asked Daisy. The first crew set off for the mountain stream. Everyone carried something. Grandpa, Papa, and Cashew stayed behind to finish their chores. We'll be along later, said Grandpa as he mopped his brow. He was sweating and hot. Mama stopped to smell the nodding lilies. Look at this pretty lily flower. Let's hurry, urged the little wood mice. We have work to do. Mama just smiled. She knew why they were in such a hurry. At last they arrived at the banks of a rushing mountain stream. Here, a breeze off the water was fresh and cool. Oh. Insects flew about above and whirred above their heads and they chirped from the shade of leaves. Here's a cricket ladybug, a bee, all kinds of butterfly, all kinds of insects. Mama and her washing crew cooled off in the stream while they waited for Grandma and the others. Look, here they are in the nice cool water. How refreshing and wonderful that felt after the long hot walk. Dunk, dunk, stomp, stomp, rub, rub. Everyone had a job to do. Even little Iris washed her dolly clothes. Daisy hummed a tune under her breath as she danced a jig upon her favorite shirt. See what they're doing? They're having their laundry, all their dirty, sweaty clothes in that nice, cool water and they're washing them off. Washing the sheets was a four mouse job. Wringing them out took two. Look, the sheets are big and it takes four of them to wash it. Grandma was finished with her washboard, so Cashew gave his new friend Froggy a ride. Here is Cashew and he put Froggy, his new friend, on the washboard. He's going to give him a nice ride. The washing team was done just in time for a game of plop the fish. 
Papa and Grandpa arrive with the wash poles. Time to hang the laundry to dry. Look out, cried Grandma. The washboard was drifting out of reach and Froggy was on it. Uh-oh. The swiftly moving mountain stream floated Froggy toward the waterfall. <gasps> There's the waterfall. Hickory, Chestnut, and Pecan dashed off in pursuit. Jump, Froggy, jump, they called out. Got it, shouted Hickory. Froggy was safe, and so was the washboard. Now for a swim. Cashew rode the waterfall down to where Pecan waited to grab him. They're having lots of fun. Papa and Grandpa had put up the drying poles. Look up here. They strung the, the clotheslines between branches of the trees. How neat is that? Come on up, they called over. We'll dry the laundry in the breezy treetops. So six very clean mice climbed out of the stream. High in the tree, the laundry flapped in the breeze and soon everything would be dried, except cashew sh shorts, which were headed back down to the stream. The wood mouse family relaxed while the breeze did its work. Some swung in the hammocks made from clean sheets and others enjoyed the view from their lofty high perch up in the tree little pants, little shirts, pajamas, and sheets. Everything clean. With the laundry clean and dry, the wood mouse family was ready to go home. But first, back to the mountain stream and waving goodbye to Froggy, who was down here on a lily pad. Goodbye to Froggy until the next washing day. Wasn't that a neat story? How would you like to go do your laundry in a nice cool stream instead of in a washing machine? Sounds good, doesn't it? Bye now.